Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is the Soto Dish with TJN. Tish. Thanks for back, man. Yeah. The second episode, season one, it. episode two. We had a lot of good feedback. We had a lot the of first, feedback. On the first, on the pilot show. And it was week. all good. It was all good. I like positivity. I like positive feedback. I know. I like, say, I like positive news, positive things. They say creative things. criticism. I don't really care for that. I like positive feedback. I do too. Okay, Just good. bring it on, all the positive feedback. So what did you do this weekend? What did I do? I didn't do a lot. Me either. Mm -mm. I rode I, around Sunday. That's usually yeah. what I do is drive around the city county on Sunday looking for places, new, new restaurants I don't know about. Well, that's what I need to do because mm -hmm. we talked about this last you time. Gotta, I'm not you got to venture out. I know. I'm just not a restaurant person. I like my home time. Yeah. And it's, I basically move just enough so nobody thinks Somebody's I'm dead. Somebody's calling you. you want it's every, one of my deputies. You want everybody to hold on in a second? I mean, it's just live. You never know it's going to happen Can you hold live. on a second? Somebody's calling her. No, go ahead and answer. <laughs> I'm just I can talk by myself. No, I'll call her back. Okay, good. It's, uh, I'll text her later. Yeah, we have a very exciting show going on. Soda County Ghostbusters are going to be here in about 10 or 15 minutes. Yes. You set that up. I did set that up because let me just go ahead and say, I'm the one who brought the Ghostbusters up you the did. first episode and and did not explain them well at all. Well, everybody's seen the. Oh, it looks like you know Bill Murray and everybody in the Ghostbusters are driving around town. They have the lights. I thought it had something to do with Halloween costumes. I wasn't so really cool. sure. No, then I thought this it was is just the real some, deal. It's the real deal. Yes, and I and I used the word pretend last time, and they no, are they're not, not pretend. pretend at all. They're not pretend. It's a real deal at all. It is. They are. They're a real deal. Even they're though they're very dancing cool. off camera right now, they are dancing and having a good time. No, we're just kidding. They're <laughs> we're, serious. We're serious gonna have them business. on in about ten or fifteen minutes, y'all. Y'all hang tight. It's gonna be a really good time. It will because they're doing some really good stuff in DeSoto County. And we need to help them as they help other people. So that's Absolutely. exciting. We're going to talk about food. And okay. somehow in the middle of, what is it, still January, we got on the subject of ice cream. Where is everybody's favorite place to get ice cream? It's absolutely. I may have to step out or something and answer this. She's called me three times. Okay. It's just live. To, just answer it and you don't have to talk. I'll just talk off camera. Okay. I'm going to tell you about my favorite ice cream place. I like the dip down in Hernando. And there's also Happy Days. Which is down in Nesbitt, uh, executive producer Sam Riker was talking about it. There's a new place called Happy Ice Cream that is on the front of the Soto uh, Times Tribune this morning. And I haven't been to that. That's a Pleasant Hill. Is everything cool? Everything is good. She said call her back. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to call her back later. She's a little persistent. Well, she I is. I guess in the policing business, Deputies you have to are be. very persistent, and that's why I love them so much. Well, you never know what's going to happen, so thanks for doing right. your job. I love your job. Well, I, did, I, I, I thought she needed something right away, so you I'm think always so. there for them. I always answer the phone. Um, one of the Ghostbusters is our director uh, over search, search and, and rescue, rescue. Jonathan yeah. Bigham. The one do I not answer right the now? phone every time you call, John? You have Absolutely. to, right? I do. I do. I learned that with some judge friends. We got on the subject of it. Earl Farrell, who's out in our hallway, he's coming down yeah. to cover Maria's Cantina, the best chicken tamales in the entire planet. Oh, that sounds so Grant, good a right friend now. Of mine's, we, we had our butcher shop in our steakhouse in, in uh, Olive Branch. We used to trade food for his, my workers and his workers. He would make a bunch of food. We'd make a bunch of food, and we'd trade food. Restaurants do that. We need to have some food on this show so I can eat while you talk. I invited three <laughs> restaurants. And they're all so busy right now. And they talk mm. about they're not busy right now, but the takeout thing is just really going oh, up. Oh, that's with what's them. keeping everybody afloat. And I mean, and for the customer, yeah, I love it. It works. You sit in your car and you get curbside service or you run in and pick it up. I mean, yes, I love eating inside a restaurant if too. I'm going to go. I yeah, And there are a Atmosphere. lot that you still can do that. I went to Huey's a couple weeks ago. I met a friend of mine on a Saturday afternoon. And yeah. I'd been around doing construction stuff and pricing out some jobs on remodels and things that I'm doing. I call mm -hmm. them restyle, not a remodel. Yeah, I said and you're the we're, jack of all trades. Yeah, we're doing a lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, transforming and I took out a wall last week on the house and making it an open concept. But anyway, I went to Huey's and had mm -hmm. chicken on a stick and they put chicken and pineapples. They put mm -hmm. skewers in their steak fries. That's, yeah, it's that's so really good. good. So good. Yeah, it's good. But uh, well, ice cream places. Ice cream places are good. Well, it's, it's the end of January, but everybody wants ice cream. It's crazy, right? We all well, it's not really fish. freezing cold outside. We all scream for ice cream, yes. <laughs> but it's not super freezing cold outside. I walked in this morning, and Sam Reichert, who shows up at 5 o'clock and does <laughs> the weather every day, right. I was telling him, I took my daughter outside at like 7.30, quarter to 8 this morning. It was nice. He said, was it? And I said, yeah. It was, felt like it was in the 60s, and it was a little bit of wind, and then mm -hmm. I was going through the motions. I said, wait a minute. Were you messing with me? Because he knows <laughs> the weather. He knows what it was yeah. like outside. Yeah, yesterday was crazy to me. It was really windy, but it was warm, super warm. I went over after the gym to Snowden Grove Park I think I talked to you and then yeah. I went over and walked three miles on their their greenway that 
to have. It's really nice. It is nice. And uh, man, the wind was strong. It is. Yeah, I know. All right, so you have an ice cream place. I have an ice cream place. Okay. Go ahead with yours first. I like Sonic. I do too. <laughs> and I, like, and Sonic, I like Dairy Queen, the, the DQ. The, I like Dairy Queen. They have those little those little chocolate flakes in their mm -hmm. blizzards. They do. I, I'd love those. Like they do. I love Oreo those. Blizzard. Yeah, but I, I, I what kind of ice cream the Ghostbusters like. I don't know. Need any to ask kind. Them that. Oh, let's ask them the kind of ice cream they like. I wonder like. if they're like a slime ice cream. Ew, they probably do like slime. No. Earl Farrell's going to go over to uh, Maria's Cantina. We um, we did some work with them years ago, and mm -hmm. I, there's so many places have been there, and then all the new chain restaurants. I like to find independently owned restaurants. I do too. Mom and pops is what I like to call so them. So we're really hoping to bring some of those people on our show, or maybe do a remote sure. and uh, start covering the restaurants. So if you have a restaurant, and you have a restaurant favorite, reach out to us on our page, uh, Desoto Dish with TJ and Tish, mm -hmm. and you can reach out to our Facebook page. Send us a message if you have a restaurant, and maybe your business is off a little bit. You need a boost. You know, there's no charge for what we do. We come out and we um, we help promote it. That's right, and we're also gonna create um, an email address. Yeah. So that that's another way to that you can reach And I would say what it's gonna be, but then somebody would be fun <laughs> and they would go take our Gmail right. before I have a chance to say Yeah, let's up. not do that, okay, yeah. Do that. All right, ha that happy all. ice cream. Happy right. ice cream, I haven't been there. Pleasant Hill um, on Church Road. Pleasant Hill, Church Road, I bet that's good. It looks good, there's a picture on the DeSoto Times Tribune. I like it, it looks good. Sam Riker was nice enough to bring them. Oh, Thank you, the Mr. Ghostbusters Sam. just took off down the hall. Uh -oh, I think there's something they, going on. They, this building's too new to be haunted, though, but the city's old. Hey, I'm t you never know. Y'all don't where know the goes. story that's going around Auto Branch on some of this old town, some little creaking buildings. Oh, I that believe are it. Yeah. Old town? I old. I think that's where they're going. We're, you want to take a break and come back and talk to the guys? Yeah, but I, I, I want to throw this in real fast. You need to check out DeSoto Snow and Creamery, also. It's in South Haven on Get Your Well. Son goes my there. son is upset, and my niece. They're obsessed with that place. Is that like the Cold Stone? Well, it's like snow cones with the ice cream in the middle, and no then way. you get yeah. It's it's they have all kinds. They that? even have keto. Like you can go get yeah. keto something. Where it's is on. This at? Um, it's on. Get well. It's fifty six. Tw I don't have my glasses. Oh. Fifty six twenty seven. Get well in South Haven. Okay, I think I know it's where right. It is. At it's close to church. It's over by Coffee Central. Yeah. Yeah, right. it's close to church. Yeah, we'll take a break. But the Ghostbusters, we have to go track them down. All right, y'all, check it out. Hey, Earl, grab the Ghostbusters, man. We're gonna grab. Okay, we're back. Oh. We're back. We're back. Ghostbusters, everybody. Y'all so, not even kidding. Y'all seen them around town, I mean, right? they have right. all kinds of equipment and everything. This is our director over search and rescue at the DeSoto County Sheriff's Department. This is Director Jonathan Bigham, Hello. also known as Dr. Bigham. Bigham. Yes. David Haley, Dr. Haley. Dr. Haley. Dr. Haley. Okay, so we brought this up 
We have a question. Uh, what's going on right now? I know y'all heard the rumors, and I know that's probably why you're here in Old Town. What's going on with the spirits and everything around Old Town? This is an old building, and it used to be called Calpian, Mississippi. Is that right, Sam? Yeah. Because right. <laughs> they used to Sam's drive cattle like in here, and this was like an old western town, right? We yeah. did actually. We hadn't had any reports of anything over here. Well, we just had a caller call in on our page, on our Facebook page, and tell mm -hmm. us about it. Wow. Y'all may need well, to check that out before you leave town. Yeah, I'm just, we might have to do that for sure. Just saying. Because so, definitely. the building's new, but then the, the land under it is kind of old. That's kind of tricky, there right? Tunnels and creepy, just. Stuff. Well, we'll definitely just have to check stuff. it out. You know, uh, yeah. our car's down right now, so most of our equipment is. Uh, Ecto 17. Ecto Why is it called Ecto 17? Uh, we're in Judicial District 17. And okay. uh, it's the county's car, the DeSoto County Ghostbusters. DeSoto County Ghostbusters. And car. so we named it Ecto 17. Ecto 17. Makes sense, doesn't it? Makes sense. Makes sense. What, for people who don't know, what do y'all do exactly? Uh, well, we catch ghosts, right. obviously, uh, and then we do a, we do a lot of charity work uh, around town and around uh, Memphis. Uh, we've done, let's see, Ronald McDonald House, the Chris Hope Foundation, Make a Wish. You set us up with that one, and um, Toys for Tots, Toys for yeah. Tots, um, Alzheimer's yeah. Awareness. Uh, really, a lot of charities. I, I don't think there's any that we haven't done. Uh, very few, if any. Now you got a charity of your own because your Ghostbuster yeah, wagon. Yeah. Ec, what do we call it? Ecto seventeen. Ecto yeah. seventeen. Mm -hmm. Okay. How short are you and your GoFundMe on to get it to get it back up and running? Because I liked it. I've been seeing it for months, and I it didn't know so what it was. Cool. It is very cool. Everybody's seeing it. The old, um, what do we call it? old ambulance from the seventies, I guess. Mm -hmm. And well, the, it's a hearse, so it. Uh, ooh. <laughs> well, yeah, it, used, a it used to carry yeah. bodies with no souls, and now we carry souls with no bodies. There so. you go. Ah. So you're running a little short on your money, right, to get it back up and running? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, our transmission went out. Uh, we think Slimer might have had something to do with that. We're not too sure, uh, but we need to raise uh, 3,500 to get it up. How and far running. are you right now? Uh, we're at 17. 17 so you're about halfway 17, there. 16, yes, about you're like, halfway. Yeah, 1740 is all you need. And we know that we have people that watch our show, and maybe they can help you guys out. We're going to put a, a link on there. And at the awesome. end of this, we have a video, your video, where you're talking about it. Let's talk about what's going on in Mississippi, because Mississippi's pretty much, there's most Mississippi haunted houses mm -hmm. in Mississippi. Let's talk about why. Uh, well, we don't know why there's been a lot of activity lately. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know, I'd say we've had a spike increase over the last three years, wouldn't yeah, you say? Yeah, we have. I actually I just came back from Disney, and uh, this little guy, yeah. I didn't even see that. Yeah, he hitched a, a yeah. ride. Um, his name's Forky. For some reason, you know, we've caught him on camera moving around. Um, but like around people, he doesn't do anything. And it's just really weird. It's something that we kind of need to, to investigate. Um, but I figured I'd bring him because, you know, sometimes. Oh, well, yeah. Sometimes we got to invest. Yeah, he, he's, uh -oh. I got him. he's trying to float away. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, let's talk about some of the ways that you're helping with charity and how people can contact you and, and maybe get you involved with some of their charities. Uh, yeah, so um, if anybody's got a charity organization, we're always 100% on that. Uh, basically, they just got to reach out to our page and let us know what's going on. And if we're available, we'll definitely be there. Uh, and your Facebook page is what you're talking about? Mm -hmm, yep, DeSoto County Ghostbusters mm -hmm. on Facebook. And we're on Instagram also, but uh, most of our stuff is on Facebook. Mostly. Mm -hmm. So what if they have, like, an investigation that needs to happen? Uh, if they got an investigation, they can uh, definitely message our page or... You can give us a call at the Ghostbusters number, 315-777-2380. That's where most everybody's got paranormal activities. Give us a call. That, I, I'm going to go on one of these one day with them. I am. I'm, I'm, I am. have so much fun. So but much don't fun. Don't in the back seat because I heard so you much the fun. Well, be oh, I like to be scared. Like, I'm not scared. Well, I'm not scared of anything except jellyfish. I mean. Maybe it'll be a ghost no. jellyfish. <laughs> oh, it won't. <laughs> oh, we wanted to ask them what kind of ice cream they like. Slime We're talking ice about ice cream. Oh, yeah. do, do you guys have any special ice cream? Oh, uh, I mean, I got a favorite uh, down there at the Velvet Cream, the oh. dip. You know, they, yeah. they got the, uh, the Slimerade that they made for us. Do the, they really? And the Grape Keeper. And, uh, there's a little marshmallow yeah, there's a, too. Yeah, there's Man, a marshmallow. It's really? It's great. Mm, yeah, it's, it's great. So. Oh, I'll have to try those. Well, thanks yeah. for everything you're doing in Soda County. We want people to reach yeah. out to them and get them included because they are really in charity. They need a little help right now getting the wagon back up. I shouldn't call it the wagon, man. I'm going to get slimed or something. Ecto-17. Ecto-17. I've just i I've, I've seen it for months, though. How When yeah. did you start this? Um, um, three years ago. Okay. We, we, we took over three years ago, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, about three years ago. And uh, the music you play, what is that? 
Uh, most of our music is uh, from the Ghostbusters mm -hmm. movies. And then we kind of throw in our own mix in there, too. We like to do a lot of the other 80s stuff. Oh, yes. I love the 80s. I love, yeah, yeah, me too. I love it. I think I've got Gizmo on my Proton Pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do got Gizmo on there. Yeah. Oh, Same Gizmo, now, yeah. right there. Gizmo. 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 Go ahead, Trish. Oh, nothing. I was, you almost called me Trish. No, I didn't. <laughs> did. Yes, big I'm multi yeah. I'm just messing. Well, guys, thanks I, so much for fun. being on our show, man. We appreciate what you're doing. Stay in touch with us. We're going to get you back up and running yeah. around town really soon. Okay. So, and every dollar counts. Every dollar counts. It goes toward you know getting them to their goal, which is fixing the transmission in Ecto 17, so they can get back on the road. All right, well, right. very good. Yeah, this is T.J. Cates with uh, DeSoto Dish with T.J. and Tish and. So kind of Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Oh, do the stance. Do the stance. This is when you oh. see him. This is the stance. Oh. Ready? We're ready to believe you. <laughs> yeah, check. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Dr. Haley with Soto County Ghostbusters, and I want to give a big shout out to everybody who has donated to our cause and who has shared our GoFundMe. So what's going on with Soto County Ghostbusters? Well, basically, our car, Ecto-17, has broken down. Our transmission went out, so we had to get a new one. Well, thanks to Allen's Automotive, we are getting that, but we need to raise 3,500, and so far, thanks to you guys, we have raised over $1,700, so we are over halfway there. Now guys, for those of you that don't know what we're about, obviously, we catch ghosts. But we also do a lot of charity and community work. We've done uh, Ronald McDonald House, St. Jude, Alzheimer's Awareness, Special Olympics, uh, the Chris Hope Foundation. We do all kind of cool things for the communities, bringing smiles to everybody that you know we run into. Well, at least we hope so anyway. So basically, what I want to talk about today is every time you donate to us, uh, through our GoFundMe page, for every $10, we're gonna put you in this bucket right here. And what, you, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a raffle for the Spengler wand. Now this Spengler wand right here is actually a really cool prop uh, that, that any Ghostbuster fan would want. This thing is awesome. It's got all kind of buttons and switches and just all kind of cool stuff with it. So, uh, you know, we'd really like for you guys to help us out, donate to us so we can get our car fixed and get back to the community as soon as possible. So, uh, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And uh, what, what is that? What? Did you guys hear that? Hang on. I'll be right back. Anyway, guys, like I was saying, this is an awesome Proton one. Be sure to donate to our GoFundMe for a chance to win this. And as always, we're ready to believe.